Melissa Highsmith. On August 23, 1971, one-year-old Melissa Suzanne Highsmith went missing in Fort Worth, Texas. In 1971, Melissa's divorced single mother, Alta Highsmith, decided to place an ad in their local newspaper looking for a babysitter for Melissa. A woman calling herself Ruth Johnson responded to the ad and told Alta over the phone that she had a large home with a big backyard where she cared for other children as well. They agreed to meet for an interview at the restaurant where Alta worked, but Ruth never showed up. Ruth called back and convinced her that she still wanted the job. Despite never meeting face to face, Alta hired her and asked her to come to the apartment to pick up Melissa. At 7.30 a.m. on August 23rd, Ruth went to Alta and Melissa's apartment. The Spanish Gate apartments were located on East Seminary Drive in South Fort Worth. Alta had already left for work, but her roommate was there. She described Ruth as a well-dressed woman who wore white gloves. Ruth took Melissa along with her little pink dress, white sandals, and some diapers. By 8 p.m., after Alta waited for a long time for Ruth to bring back Melissa, she decided to contact the police. Ruth has never been identified and it's believed that Ruth Johnson is not even her real name. Both of Melissa's parents were investigated in her disappearance. They eventually got back together and had three more children before splitting up again in 1998. Authorities believe that Melissa was taken by someone who wanted to raise a child, but the theory has never been proven. Melissa has not been seen since and her case remains unsolved. Melissa has brown hair and brown hazel eyes. She also has a three inch red color birthmark on her back just below her neck. If you have any information about this case, please call 911 or the number on your screen. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos.